first problem, that is the example problem. A machine, a machine is dragged by a hundred kg mass. A machine is dragged by a hundred kg mass. That falls eight eight meter in four seconds. It lifts a load of mass five hundred kg vertically upwards, taking g as ten meter per second square. So in turn, we have given a machine is driven by a hundred kg mass that falls eight meter in four seconds. It lifts a load of mass five hundred kg vertically upwards, taking g as ten meter per second square. Here they ask five sub question. The given terms here is what they have given. The mass is hundred kg. Distance is eight meter. Time is four seconds. And the load is five hundred kg.
It is equal to two thousand watt. The power input is equal to two thousand watt. So power input is nothing but work done. We should divide it by time. Substitute work done. We should take out the number and times the four seconds. When you simplify, you get the answer as two thousand watt. The power output of a machine, if its efficiency is sixty percent, so we have to find the power output of a machine, and we have to find the efficiency that is nothing but sixty percent. Efficiency. So the work done on the machine here, the work done on the machine in four seconds. The work done, sorry, work done by the machine, not on the machine. The work done by the machine in time four seconds that is equal to power output into time. So you are getting an answer as four thousand eight hundred job. And the second question, calculate the Ideal mechanical advantage. Calculate the ideal mechanical advantage of a lever in which the effort arm is sixty centimeter and the load arm is four centimeter. So the given terms are effort arm. And load up. It is four. 
pizza. So what is the value of mechanical advantage? That is equals to 15. Please remember the formula for mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, principle of movements. The third question. Draw a simple diagram of fire dogs and mark on it the fulcrum here yeah, and the points of application of flow L yeah, and FRT. Name the class of lever that is the first question. And the big question is if load arm is 15 cm and FR arm is 5 cm, what is its mechanical advantage? The first thing is we should draw the diagram of a fire top. Point 10 centimeter 
from its step. Calculate the mechanical advantage of the crowbar. And the second question is, what is the least force which must be applied at the other end to displace the load of 100 kg? Here they are given a crowbar of long 2 meter and is pivoted about a point 10 cm. The crowbar is pivoted about a point 10 cm from its tip. The crowbar considered as a straight uh, bar and its crowbar and uh, two, it is a 2 meter long and it is pivoted about a point 10 cm from its tip. For the first one is they have to uh, uh, they have given to find the mechanical advantage of the crowbar. Let me write a given term. They have given load that is 500, sorry, 100 kg and the length, the crowbar length that is 2 meter and it is pivoted at a point that is 10 cm from its tip. Since the load is 100 kg, since the load is at a tip, since the load is active, which is at 10, this is at a distance 10 cm from the fulcrum. See, since the Lower is active, which is at a distance 10 cm from the fulcrum. So that we can directly write low down, that is nothing but 10 cm. We know that lower into low down equals effort into effort down. Since the load is at a 10, 10, distance 10 cm from the fulcrum, so low down is 10 cm. And the total length of the crowbar that is find out. That is for its 200 meter. That we can consider it as a right as a 200 centimeter. No need of finding here. Uh, that is confused here. Total length of the crowbar it is 202 meter long. That is from 1 meter equals 100 centimeter. So it becomes 200 centimeter. Next we should find out the effort arm. So the effort arm is nothing but 200 centimeter minus 10 centimeter. Why? Because the total length of the crowbar, total length. Minus the load arm. So that is 200 minus 10, it is 190 cm. This is the effort arm. Next is the mechanical advantage, that is equal to effort arm divided by load arm. So what is the effort arm? 190 divided by 10. So 19 is the mechanical advantage. So consider here let me draw the diagram. This fulcrum 
and this is the effort in between you having load. The distance from fulcrum, the distance. So since the load is affected, the load is affected in the fulcrum. Load is affected. This is called load arm. So 
corners. A uniform seat is a 5 meter long. It's a quarter at its center. So this, this side, this will be 5 meter long. It's a quarter at its center. There is a room. A boy weighing 40 kg. Is it center distance? 1 meter. A boy weighing 40 kg. Sits so at the distance from a center that is 1 meter from the center of the seesaw. First question that we ask to which class of lever does it belong? To which class of lever? Excuse me. To which class of lever does it belong? Where you will see the seesaw? In the class 1 lever. The seesaw has a fulcrum. The seesaw has a fulcrum here at its center and such that the lower and upper are at the corners. In between with the fulcrum, it belongs to class 1 liver. First question is, it belongs to class 1 liver. And the second question Find where a girl of weight 20 kg Where a girl This is unknown here And the weight 20 kg Must sit on the seesaw So as to balance the weight So in order to balance the weight Where the girl should sit so the girl will be weighing 20 kg and the boy will be weighing 40 kg. To balance the weight of the boy, let the girl be sitting at a distance here, centimeter. To balance the Burning coals. To lift a piece of burning coals, so 
us to a different degree. If we apply the effort, if we apply the effort at a distance of seven centimeter. So in here, out of twenty eight centimeter long fire log, the effort will be applied at seven centimeter. At a distance of seven centimeter, out of twenty eight centimeter long fire logs, the effort is applied at a distance seven centimeter from the fire log. So it belongs to class three level. Why? Because in class three level, fulcrum and lobe are at the corners. Here also, uh, our cook will use this fire log in order to lift the excuse burning coals. So the load should be lifted up to fifty grams. At the other end, the load should be, should be lifted using that fire log. So and where we should put effort? Effort is put given here. The that is the applied effort at a distance of one centimeter. So effort is in between, and fulcrum and load are the corners. It belongs to class three level. So what are the given terms here? Load is two fifty gram, and what is the load? So it is given here in gf, not kg. So it should convert. Zero point two five kg here, and so the load arm is twenty eight centimeter. And if I arm is given, that is seven centimeter. In order to lift the load. In order to lift the load, it is nothing but burning force. Ah, uh, it is given in gf, gram, gf, and not kg. So it should convert into zero point two five kg. Again, it should be multiplied with 